what is time series data? Time series data is a sequence of timestamp data points, typically consisting of successive measurements made from the same source over a time interval. Time series data is everywhere. Everything from the automated equipment in a modern factory to the onboard sensors in a self-driving car to the smart devices at your home is constantly generating time series data. The smart meter in your home records the amount of electricity consumed by your family. The temperature information of a place is recorded according to a certain frequency, providing a basis for subsequent analysis. Self-driving cars is a hot topic in recent years. Take Tesla as an example. Their cars continuously collect information from various onboard sensors for the autopilot to make decisions. TD Engine is a great tool for processing time series data. It's an open source, cloud native time series database optimized for Internet of Things, connected cars, and industrial IoT scenarios. TD Engine enables efficient, real time ingestion, processing, and monitoring of terabytes and even petabytes of data per day, generated by billions of sensors and data collectors. In order to explain the basic concepts and data model in TD Engine, let's consider smart meters as a typical time series use case. First, let's introduce two core concepts in TD Engine, metrics and tags. A metric in TD Engine is a measurement of a physical quantity that is collected typically by sensors. Metrics can be anything from data collected by connected cars, such as GPS location, velocity, and RPM, to measurements from a weather station, such as temperature, humidity, and air pressure, and even monitoring data from network devices and servers in data centers. A tag in TD Engine is a static property of a device that does not change over time. For example, a smart meter would typically have a location, a residential or commercial address, that does not change. Data coming from a vehicle may have a VIN associated with it, which would also not change over time. TD Engine takes advantage of the immutability of tags, and also the fact that similar devices always have the same types of tags. For example, smart meters typically have a location, serial number, and manufacturer, and these tags do not change over time. So a developer who's creating a data structure or an object definition for a smart meter would define location, serial number, and manufacturer as properties or attributes. In TD Engine, these properties are tags. How can we create a model to store the metrics and tags for smart meters in TD Engine? First, let's assume the following. Number one, each smart meter collects three metrics, current, voltage, and phase. Two, there are multiple smart meters. And three, each meter has two static attributes, location and group ID. Based on this, the collected data will look similar to the table you see here. Each row contains the device ID, timestamp, metrics, and tags associated with the devices. Each smart meter generates a row or measurement either at a predefined time interval or when triggered by an external event. In this way, the device produces a sequence of measurements with associated timestamps. We can call each smart meter a data collection point, or DCP. A DCP can collect one or more metrics, but these metrics are collected at the same time and have the same timestamp. In our example, D1, D2, D3, and D4 are the DCPs. Since time series data is most likely structured, TD Engine adopts the same model you may be familiar with from traditional relational databases. You create a database, create tables in your database, and then insert data points into tables. Finally, you can execute queries to explore your data. To make full use of the characteristics of time series data, TD Engine requires you to create a separate table to store the data from each DCP. For the example above, one table is created each for devices D1, D2, D3, and D4, for a total of four tables to store data collected. This design has several benefits. First, since the metrics from different DCPs are fully independent, the data source of each DCP is unique, and each table is written to by only one object. This means the data points can be written in a lock-free manner, and writing speed can be greatly improved. Second, the metrics from each DCP are ordered by timestamp, so write operations can be implemented as appends, which further improves data write speed. Third, the metric data from each DCP is stored continuously block by block. This improves read and query performance significantly because it greatly reduces random read operations when data for a period of time is queried. And finally, column-oriented storage is used inside the data blocks for a DCP, and different compression algorithms are used for different data types. Storing metrics in this way allows for a higher compression rate 
because measurements of the same indicator generally do not vary significantly over a time range. In a traditional setup, with metrics from multiple DCPs written to a single table, the timing of data from different DCPs arriving at the server cannot be guaranteed due to network latency. Furthermore, write operations must be protected by locks, and metric data from one DCP cannot be guaranteed to be continuously stored together. One data per DCP ensures the best performance for inserting and querying a single DCP to the greatest possible extent. In this example, we can use the DCP ID as a table name, like D1001 in the table shown. Each DCP may collect one or more metrics, like current, voltage, and phase as shown here. And each metric has a corresponding column in the table. The first column must be a timestamp. TD Engine uses the timestamp as the index and will not build the index on any metric. The other columns can be data of various types, such as integers, strings, and floating point numbers. Complex devices, such as connected cars, may have multiple DCPs. In this case, multiple tables are created for a single device, with one table per DCP. The design of one table per DCP requires a huge number of tables, which can be difficult to manage. And applications often need to perform aggregation operations across DCPs, quickly becoming complex when dealing with large data sets. To support aggregation over multiple tables efficiently, TD Engine uses the super table. A super table is a template for a type of DCP. It contains a set of tables, DCPs, with the same schema or data structure, but with different static attributes, meaning tags. A super table could have multiple tags of various data types, and they can be added, deleted, or modified after the super table is created. In general, one super table is created for each type of data collection point. In TD Engine, a table is a specific DCP, and a super table is a set of DCPs of the same type. In the Smart Meters example, we can create a super table called Meters. Note the metrics and tags in the statement. When creating a table for a specific DCP, we can use this super table as a template, just specifying the tag values for the DCP. A table created by using a super table as a template is called a subtable. We can create a table for each Smart Meter under the super table Meters. Then insert some data. And finally, execute some queries, just like in an RDBMS. For people coming from a traditional RDBMS, this system is simple and easy to pick up while offering the performance advantages inherent in the time series database. If you'd like to know more about TD Engine or try it yourself for free, just check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching.